job's a joke, you broke your love life's the way. Good morning, Flying Space Rocks. Welcome to Friday Eve. Eli, tell me, how the heck are you, buddy? Uh, good. And you? Oh, just fantastic. You doing okay? This is just so out of character for you. Nothing is out of character if you believe. What does that mean? Central, today is National Home Warranty Day, and I'm just so pumped. What? So, Central, plan ahead so when you 15-year-olds inevitably buy a home, you should be financially responsible and get thyself a home warranty. Wow. That's dumb. However, speaking of planning ahead, we do have some scheduling information for all of you underclassmen. Here's Ben interviewing with Ogredowski. Uh, my name is Dana Ogredowski, and at Southwestern City Schools, I teach the ALC, English Proposition 1100 and 2367, and I also teach embedded courses with the same uh, program with Columbus State. And how long have you been teaching these programs? I've taught these for about five years now, and before that I taught uh, AP courses, the language comp course, um, for about all, maybe five years as well. So what would you say is the main difference between an AP course versus a College Credit Plus course? It's a great question. Um, well, the main difference of course is the timeline. Columbus State uh, functions on semesters. Um, and also the schedule is a lot nicer because it's short and students are done. For example, spring semester coming up will be done uh, the second week of May and my students like that a lot. Um, but also the rigor of a college course, uh, you're much more independent uh, work that you're doing. Um, so I would say between the rigor and the schedule are kind of the biggest differences. Also in a college course uh, with a C grade, um, you earn the credit for the class. Uh, with AP, you do have to earn certain um, points on the test. So you kind of already answered my next question. Well, what, uh, which one would you recommend? <laughs> AP can be a great building block to get them ready for college. Um, but overall, I love the content of College Credit Plus, uh, the students we were talking about, uh, the 2367. It's just such an exciting uh, setup of assignments. So it's those types of things I think are really cool about the college courses. All right, thank you. Right. Wow, Central, that's a big decision. Personally, I went the AP route, but I get that that's not for everyone. So maybe just take some time to ponder all of those life decisions that need to be made. Maybe you could take a break outside to think about it. Anna, is it good thinking weather? Weather with Anna. Good morning, Central. I'm here in front of a beautiful home that happens to be on sale. Did you guys see that teeny bit of snow out this morning? It really fit the dreary winter vibe, which will be continuing throughout the day. Temperatures today will be pretty consistently in the low to mid 30s until this evening, which will cool down to the high 20s. It's also, be, it's also going to be cloudy all day, with the air quality being excellent again. What a beautiful day to buy a house and acquire a home warranty. That's all for me today. Back to you, anchors. Wow, well, Anna. Hopefully she has fun at the open house for that brand new home. I hope she buys it and invests in a home warranty. You know what else needs a warranty? What? Not a blood drive. <laughs> what? Look, <laughs> yesterday, here at Art Thou Central, we want to thank everyone who donated blood. We collected 21 units, saving 63 lives. Thank you, Comet Crazies, for planning this. And now, we have some fantastic news, so listen up. Comet Nation, it's back! 2022 Common Olympic returns Thursday, March 24th in the school gymnasium. Which class will take home the gold? Listen daily as details will be announced, and check out a few pics from prior years. That looks like so, 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 so much fun. Now we have more good news, <laughs> plus a lot of fun. Comet Crazies presents its very first big or egg, egg, egg fundraiser. Ten of our bravest crazies have signed up, and they will be collecting donations from you, our wonderful student body, for two weeks. Well, instead of looking at the future, let's look at today, the present. Here's what's going on around the bell, Dane. First off, Key Club has a few carnations left to sell. Today is it! Get your Valentine's Day on and buy some carnations. Now, guess what? What? It's club time! Tonight, Guitar Club and Spanish Club both meet after school. Guitar Club is in room 180 and Spanish Club is in room 209. On Friday, we have two clubs to tell you about. First, GSA meets tomorrow after school in room 264 with Mr. Osborne and Ms. Brisser. 
And then, Chess Club meets with Mr. Teich at 3.30 in room 180. And then, if you need some help with Algebra 1, check out Tutoring Today at 3.30 in room 107. Clubs are so much fun, and I really enjoy being able to take a break, have a Kit Kat, and hang out with some friends after school. Same here. Please consider checking out a club. We promise you won't regret it. Also consider checking out a sport or two. Athletes work so hard, and it's so important that we give them all the love and support that they need. I hear our sporters have some really good news about our athletes. Take it away! What's going on, Central? We're back with your favorite sports news. Logan, I think we're the only sport news. I, I, I meant the two of us. I'm just trying to give you a compliment. Oh, well, thank you. Well, first up, here's some results news. Gymnastics had their last OCC Gymnastics League meet yesterday at Thomas Worthington. The Lady Thomas did a great job. On the pole vault, Hope Groves placed 4th place and Hannah Jennings placed 5th. On even bars, Hope Groves placed 10th. On the balance beam, Hannah Jennings placed 1st and Taylor Redden placed 8th. Floor exercise, Hannah Jennings placed 8th. And all around, Hannah Jennings placed 3rd, Hope Groves and Aaliyah Horn tied for 8th, and Taylor Redden placed 10th. Our Comets placed 3rd, beating the Dogs, who were in 4th place. Their next competition is the OCC Championship Saturday at Hilliard Bradley. Their competition starts at 8.30 a.m. Good luck, Lady Comets. Now, hear what's happening tonight. Boys Varsity Wrestling is up against Groveport Madison at 6 p.m. Good luck, wrestlers. And then, here's what's happening tomorrow. Boys Freshman, JV, and Varsity will be home against Reynoldsburg. Freshman starts at 4.30, JV at 6, and Varsity at 7.30. Girls JV and Varsity are away against Reynoldsburg as well, starting at 5.30 and Varsity to follow. Good luck to all you Comets. And now, in track news, there is a very important meeting for all students and their parents interested in participating in track and field this spring. The meeting is at 6 in Cafeteria C. See Coach Cannon, Coach Colin, or Coach Friedan with questions. Also, tomorrow is our chili cook-off. The proceeds will be going towards a new weight room, so be there or be square. Plus, each night this week, our winter sports are having senior nights for our Comet athletes. Here's the schedule. Tonight, wrestling has their senior night. Lastly, Friday, so tomorrow, boys basketball and cheer has their senior night, along with the chili cook-off. Drop in today and support our wrestlers tonight. And tomorrow's basketball theme is... Pink out! So, dress up like your favorite highlighter and support our ballers. That's all from us. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Aaliyah and Logan. Eli, didn't you do a sport? Yeah, I bowl. Mmm, the only sport where you can have nachos while you play. Mmm, I guess so. I personally would have chosen the mozzarella sticks. Okay. Wouldn't it be nice if you had a little student section supporting you? Heck yeah. Well, Central, think about that as our winter sports are playing their last games and spring sports are coming up. It's important to realize that a little support goes a long way. I love it when students are so supportive of each other. Same here, but I also love me some poems. Ooh, let's head over to Riley with t t today's month of. I think she has something about a poem in there. Month of with Riley. Good morning, Central. Today, we're shining the spotlight on an influential African-American woman. Our feature today is Maya Angelou. Angela was a civil rights activist and poet. She's published seven autobiographies, three books of essays, several books of poetry, and is accredited to a list of plays, movies, and TV shows. She's also received more than 50 honorary degrees. If you're interested in checking out some poetry today, consider looking up Still I Rise. This is Angelo's most famous poem and was written to depict how faith expresses itself despite adversity and racism. That's all for me. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, love. I just love my Angelou so much. Yes. Now, we have some important info for our underclassmen. For you sophomores, Career Academy applications are due February 18th. And then, for those of you interested in CCP, you must attend an informational meeting, even if you've already taken a CCP class. The next one is tonight at Franklin Heights. Well, Central, that's all we got for you today on this wonderful Friday Eve. Make it a safe one. We all want to see you here back in one piece tomorrow. Talking about tomorrow... We have the Senior Walk. So we will not be having a new show tomorrow. So, until Monday, Central. Peace!